Hello duckies and welcome back to Queen's Wish the Conqueror. My name is Viola and we are actually right back where we last left off right in Mercala. I have not forgotten to push any buttons. I, I don't think. Maybe. Um, and we are going to keep trying at this. Now I have to say um, before I, I get too deep into this, that I apologize if uh, the computer fan kicks up and sounds really loud. I kind of have to keep it that way for the moment um, because the weather in England has decided that it is going to be hot. And because of that, um, oh, I don't want anything to melt, so <clears throat> at least for the current time, I have to keep the fan pretty high set, otherwise there may be issues. And I'd rather not give Captain Zanuck issues with his computer. <clears throat> if I take these guys out from a distance, it might be a little bit on the safer side until the King Cobra decides to come out and play. No one said we wanted you closer. So, I mean, there really hasn't that been that much going on, guys. It's quarantine day who knows what. I've lost track. But you know, we're all in this together. Because we apparently are high school musical now. <laughs> I, I, it's just, I'm in one of those moods, guys. I am practically out for blood. So, <laughs> it's a good time, good time for me to decide to play this game. You know? Yeah. Let's do a healing wave. Get everybody all prepped. Heals and cures now. And there's the PC fan. As I said, guys, I'm sorry if it's fairly loud, but. It's what has to be done when spring comes around in England. <laughs> you normally really wouldn't hear the fan, at least my, my fan in my on my computer. Um, mainly because the way I have mine set up, I have a place for it down below my desktop. Um, unfortunately, Captain Zanuck doesn't really have a, uh, a setup like that, so I have to make do with what we have, and I'm just happy to have what we have. So yeah. <coughs> also, I'm sorry if I'm clearing my throat, guys. I, <coughs> I had a bit of, um... <clears throat> I had a few uh, peanut M&Ms before I came in here and probably not enough to drink with them. <laughs> Alright, we should probably take out the well, no, the Naga really doesn't let us take out the little ones. But we can't really get close enough without yeah, 
that happening. Um, let's see, he can speed us up and I can heal us and she can what win? Just start hitting that guy with what we can because this is where we died last time, I believe. Nope, uh, not the right character, but okay. Yes, she can swap with him and then she can do this. And we want to try to take out these spitting ones. Oh, at least we were able to hit the Naga as well. Um, the spitting serpents are a hassle right now. But we still are in a position now where when we get to the next fight, we're not going to have anything really. So hopefully... We won't have too much of a hassle. I don't I don't remember if we hit the next one or not. I don't think we did. Cause there's still treasure in this, so most likely we didn't. Um we don't want to use this. So let's just use that. <clears throat> okay, so we did that. That should mean that something back here opens up. Okay, here we go. Mm. Bucket. Why is there just a bucket? I don't trust the bucket! You never know what these buckets might be up to. All that bucketing around. Oh. My. Um. Hmm. This makes things interesting. No. Not what I wanted to do. Eh. Oh boy. Not good. Not good, not good, not good at all. That blind. Oh, great! Lovely, lovely blind. Bleh. I mean, it says they're all illusions. <laughs> what kind of magic is this? An illusion? What are you hiding? I'm okay, guys. Okay, those were all illusions. Big illusions, but illusions all the same. That probably means that what's in this building... Enormous snuggle looms over you. As it looks down at you, your brain feels numb. You sense that it is the source of the illusions that permeate the swamp. As it looks at you, its eyes gleam. You have to fight the compulsion to stare into them. It tries to meet your gaze. You look away. The Naga lets out an angry hiss. Moments later, the hall fills with illusions. Yay, illusions! We're going to die. Um, let's 
blow this because if we can take out the illusions, then we won't have a problem too much. Oh, he uses charm. I don't like that. Let's get to the Naga. Just, just go to the Naga. The range can take out the illusions. do this. It's not going to go over well, but we'll do this. Got that one. She's so stunned. Use another potion. Blow, get some bleeding, and there we go. Oh boy. Fear. With poison. We're not gonna survive this, guys. I'm sorry. Oh boy. Another level of poison, and yeah. Alright. Well, we're back here and apparently there is another message, so let's check this out. <sighs> Delia's voice comes out of the portal. Viola, Viola, are you there? You say hello. Oh good, I've been waiting for a chance to talk to you. I only have a minute now, though. The standard thing. Standard thing? A banquet. We're serving roast meat to the chieftains from one of our cruder vessels. Mother had me sandwiched between two young, burly, handsome warriors in furs. I'll spend the evening being charmed. Need to do our duty. Don't we? Sounds dreadful. Yeah, we have to do our duty, don't we? She laughs. We do. That doesn't mean I don't miss you. Anyway, I know you've gotten farther into the Yukatish lands. I've been doing research on them. What have you learned? I read some old journals from before the Calamity. Took time to find them, I promise you. They still smell like swamp. The Yukatish are a clan-based culture. The strongest clan rises and rules the others. Nervous and self-loathing, but not too different from a dozen other vessels. The standard procedure for dealing with them applies. Find one good clan and install them as leader. Is this the only club? Pretty much. Like I said, standard procedure for clan-based vassals. Try to convince their current king. If that doesn't work, find a good candidate for them. For leader. Make a deal. Tell General Ajax to put them on top. Come home, get a decent meal and clean clothes. And keep me from being bored. How do I know I'm choosing the right clan? You hear her dress crinkle as she shrugs. Whoever wins, I guess. If you pick someone who takes over and does what 
what we want that's good enough. We have too many vessels to rule, to worry about the hand, the lives of a handful of swamp people. That is Kellops. Oh, Viola, you're always, you always were sentimental. The world is big. If you try to worry about the whole thing, you'll go mad. Just do the job. Like I'm about to go do mine. Good luck. She's gone. Well, I mean... She's got a point, but at the same time, no. Um, any messages for me? Anything over here? Nope. Okay. You know what? Let's actually... Let's go back out here. And, um... I think what I'm going to do, actually, instead of just continuously throwing myself at all these things, I am going to go and see how all my generals are doing. Maybe they have something to say. What's the status of the West Battalion? Flight clear map. Company troops. First. What exactly? And I spoke with Lord Ayak. Yes. General has Sage Bayarma emerged to take notes. You tell him the current situation. Hmm. Nothing useful there, I think. No good material. I'm sure you came to the same conclusion. Of course, Lord Ayak is a minor lord in remote lands. There are many more places to explore. Uh, what would you do next if you were me? We will need full easy access to Yukatish lands to properly make them vassals again. Traders have told me that and told us that Ganospan is a problem. It is a bridge connecting north and south Yukatish lands. You'll need to find a way to pass through there to succeed. Could you send some soldiers to help? Again, alas, until you've found a fully full ally for us, my soldiers must stay on this side of the border. Royal orders. Oh, what do you know? Ganelspan is controlled by the old Ganel clan, whose lands are on the far side of the bridge. You'll need to fight or bribe them to let mm, you and us pass. We don't have the forces to easily pass a swamp like that. Uh, General Spain can be passed. General Ajax looks embarrassed. I'm sorry for making that sound difficult. He even has centuries of training, experience, and equipment by it. I should not have suggested that passing a vassal checkpoint would be difficult. He looks thoughtful. Princess? I'm surprised. I trust that you would be hesitant to explore and fight to obey the Queen's orders. Yet yeah, you've done so much. If I can be so bold, why? <laughs> it amuses me. General Ajax laughs. It is quite an adventure. Prince Sutter could not have put it better. Now, do you have any intelligence that can help me proceed? Alas, we still know little of happenings in the north in, in the northern Yukat. We do know that the largest city has not changed. It is Chind. I'm sure it is sure to be worthwhile to go there and speak with whoever is in power. Um, let's see. What do you know about Chind? I haven't even been there yet, so let's let's kind of in, in check this out. A wealthy and influential place, many people f find weaponsmiths, maybe even stone buildings and clean water, is sure to be ruled by a clan of some importance. Who is in charge there? Ajax shakes his head. Nobody's come to our camp who has recent news of the northern Yukat. 
Uh, what should I try to do there? Ajax looks nervous. I, I'm not used to giving such advice to those of the ruling class. The wrong words can be harmful to my career and my health. I will say that most infiltrators will, would learn who is in charge. See if they can be useful to us. And I think that's actually going to be it for this episode, guys. So thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell icon to keep up to date on all the videos. And remember to free the feral wildflower in you. Bye-bye!